could integrate it. It's Chippy, we're at uh, IDF 30, Matt, actually at the uh, display link booth. They've got a quite, quite a few things to show you, so I'm just going to run through them very quickly. Um, you've seen my demos of the HD multiple screens going over the USB cable with the uh, display link. In fact, we did it with a Toshiba Dynadoc which, Dynadoc, which has display link technology inside it. They're up to 4K now, so 4K is running over USB 3. It's actually over, running over USB 2 as well. They've done some tests and it seems to be working. Um, so 4K over USB. Um, there's the 4K um, monitor at the top. It actually splits into dual HDMI here, but that is running over USB 3. So that, that's not in products today. That's coming 2014. Here's a nice little dock, Belkin. Um, so display link technology inside here. This is available now, but if you're using Ultrabooks with an external screen, this is a really nice single dock solution. I like it's absolutely beautifully solid. Uh, and you've got uh, dual USB, Ethernet, you've got uh, DisplayPort, DVI, um, there's the uh, USB uh, 3 connector that would go to your um, laptop. So you, that's the only connector you put in your laptop to get all this out. And on this side, a couple of USBs, and you've even got uh, audio output. So there's uh, an audio card in here as well. Really nice product, that. That's, that's Belkin. Um, what else can we show you? I'm going to move over here now. This is quite interesting. This is a Merrifield uh, uh, development board, or engineering board. So this is something, uh, obviously, a product that's coming out next year. There, there's the smartphone. Merrifield is inside there. This is all debug and, and measurement uh, circuitry. So what's happening here is you've got a touch screen connected over USB to this smartphone. So not only is the display coming out, so you could do that, obviously, with HDMI, you've got the touch information going back here as well. So think about you know, the smartphone in a productive environment just one USB plug, you could actually in theory power a, a pretty good monitor and have uh, touch feeding back as well. So that's something to think about next year. And when we talk about USB powered monitors, um, this is a display link uh, engineering sample. It's a USB powered monitor. Okay, it's extremely light. It's a 15 inch monitor. I'm actually not sure what the, the res resolution is here, but it's connected over USB. Display link technology in here, display link drivers here, USB 3 cable, and and there you go. And there's the mouse pointer moving. And let's just move a window over there so you can see what's going on. There we go. So you get to see that. Now this is really interesting. We saw some Bay Trail devices yesterday. That Dell Venue 8 inch uh, device. Um, I'm not sure if it has USB 3 on, but certainly the T100 from Asus. The Asus T100, $349, Windows 8.1, 10-inch screen. You got the keyboard, but if you wanted to do a bit of productivity, just take this baby with you, plug in the USB cable, and you're going to have an extra screen that you can use for some real productivity. Take an extra keyboard with you, and you're set to go for even a bit of uh, you know video editing, word processing, and whatever. So that's really interesting. Behind this, just going to ask for a bit of help. If you could just uh, take that away. Sure. Behind this, um, we have um, HD. HD. Uh, sorry, we have. I think this is a full HD, full HD. res. Yeah. Now that's being transferred with no cables. This is a, a, a test setup um, wireless AC here going to a monitor um, with display ink uh, technology inside there. So that's pretty interesting. When you think of things like Wygig and Wydi, this is obviously a competitor um, that uh, doesn't need any extra additional hardware inside. AC plus the drivers and then the screen there with the receiver box probably uh, as well. So lots of interesting things to think about here with DisplayLink. Uh, my name's Chippy, we're at IDF 2013. Thanks for watching.